Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tarot Page with myself, Thomas Yannack. I have a guest, Ellen Cook. Hello. Welcome to the program. And as you can see, for those who have watched these videos before, everything is much cleaner, which means I'm not at home. <laughs> I'm at my friend's house. And you see all this beautiful imagery here? This artwork will be part of a card deck that we're collaborating on. Um, Something along those lines, uh, like the deeper meaning of spirit animal guides, if that makes sense. And I will do the um, the messages for the animals, and then uh, LM will do um, will, will give all, all the artwork. And also, you can buy all this eventually, if that makes sense. And um, and you do quite a lot of art, mm -hmm. really beautiful things. And um, there is a link to the, in the description box to LM's uh, Facebook shop. Moonlighting, moonlight, you know? Lily's moon workings. Lily's moon, I knew it was something along those lines. So, anyway, that, that one. <laughs> there will be a link in the description box. And it's really beautiful things. And please remember that as a local artist, as a um, private artist, if that makes sense, it makes so much sense to be supportive. Really, really important. Uh, so, please, please, please check that out after you watch the video. This is actually the video for the month of June 2022 general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. And what we will do is we will look into the overall energy for the month of June before we will then go into your emotional core, see what can go or maybe love is coming in, that sort of thing. Before we then finally will look at your or at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June. And opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. So, with no further ado, let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of June 2022 for the sign of the Archer. And the card that came out of the deck was the Aspen Spirit. So that's a, a tree for you. That's courage. So, um, it's, it's an interesting month for you. This isn't saying lots of scary things are happening, so you must be courageous. What it is saying is that you need to be, just have courage in yourself, have faith in who you are and in your own strengths and have the courage to be who you are because sometimes that's, that can be quite tricky. Motion detected at the front door. Excuse me. <laughs> I, I, I love that. I'm going to get me this. This is so amazing. We shouldn't plug Amazon, but can you hear that? I'm going to get me this and then I'm going to know when the cats are coming back in. I love it. I think I'll have to change that so it becomes a message from spirit. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I love that stuff. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked here. Yes, just, we uh, are. You know. <laughs> so the overall arching energy, uh, arching energy for the archer is, uh, <laughs> is, as we say, courage. So have the courage to be yourself, to stand up for yourself and to be seen as yourself in your own authenticity. That's quite important for this month. And it actually, thank you, it actually goes, it actually continues into your emotional uh, core um, because you have the, the term connect for your emotional uh, state, so to speak, or states uh, in the month of June. And that means is actually look at who you are and how you feel in the scheme of things. Try not to follow how you think you ought to feel, if that makes sense, right? So if you really reflect on, on, on your emotional um, depth, um, again, it's, it's really about understanding this is a month. What I'm getting is, at least with regards to the emotion, is to go within, um, to uh, acknowledge all the stuff and all the strengths as well that sits inside you. But this is a month here for the emotional core of reflections right so and now we're going into the opportunities for the month of june 2022 this is thomas's tower page this is a general reading it might not resonate with all of you hope it does please like subscribe and share really really important here are the opportunities for the month of june 2022 for the sign of sagittarius sagittarius so the card that's just come out of the deck is an interesting one actually for finances and opportunities. This is the unicorn card which stands for purity. So what I'm getting here is you need to take this month as an opportunity to purify your financial streams and to look at where your money is going, um, to look at where it's coming from and to look at some of the little trivial things you're perhaps spending money on. Have you got subscriptions to stuff that you don't need anymore? 
um, that you perhaps are paying? And you know, are, are you subscribed to um, television channels you don't watch, or do you subscribe to downloaded stuff that you never actually use? Have you signed up to courses that you're not completing? Are there little ways where you could actually purify your financial flow, and you know, as a result, make everything much cleaner, much easier, and simpler to understand, um, and also mean you'll have more at the end of it. So that's kind of the message we've got here. Look at what you've got and see how much you can purify everything that's coming in and going out to keep it as clean and as clear as possible. Thank you so much. So that was, like I said, Thomas' tarot page, um, reading for the sign of Sagittarius, the archer. And um, see you all next month. Bye-bye.